Hello, this is my successful replication of the mechanical oscillator in the Cryophorus system. I think I did that two days ago. It holds the vacuum quite good, or at least maximum of what this thing can pull. I heated up the water now. It's about uh, 60, 70, 67 degrees, uh, 76 degrees. And there's about three liters of water in there now for testing purposes. And give it a run. Just a little bit, otherwise it'll slam itself. A little bit more. Oh, it slams itself to the wall. Not too much. Yeah, now it's running nice. Huh? Nice. The temperature in the water dropping quite quickly look at it already eight degrees lower it's quite some look at the drop nah, it's only a few liters of water in there the condenser is filled 12 11 degrees about 12 degrees this is a gas bottle inside a bigger let's say up made from an old boiler and um, the lid I cut off is turned upside down because otherwise the water inside here will make this empty bottle float up so it's still running greatly awesome temperature is dropping though so if the temperature drops we can crank it up a bit more the temperature to drop even quicker. <laughs> I had removed some of the components I intended to use, like this heat exchanger for regenerative purposes. So I can pump the cold water back and preheat it with the uh, exhaust of the output heat, the leftover heat. And this thing is leaking like a freak. It's leaking internally to the other side and it's leaking from the outside in now. It's trash. That's what you get using trash. It's also a trash thing. I thought this really what you will would be useful. It's a an old pressure washer motor. And I thought using this as a piston motor to pump the condensed water back. Oh wait, it stopped. Probably due to there you go. Temperature is dropping pretty quick because this burner I have is 60. Uh, it's under 60 now. This burner I have is having problems. There's a little flame there, just a small flame. It's full open. I don't know why. Maybe the gas bottle is empty. Mm. Oh, this doesn't look very good. That's maybe why. But hey. No, it stopped working now. And that's because it's under... It's about 55 degrees. Then there's not enough temperature anymore to get pressure differential. But hey. I'm pretty happy with this. Anyway. This thing had a problem. That it sucks in water back as the boiler is in higher pressure than a condenser condenser is sucking want to suck something in and it sucks the no wait this is the output no wait this is the output 
it wanna suck the warm water directly into the condenser. So that's bad. This thing is also sucking from the output. From here, this this is going to the condenser here. This was also sucking warm water out of the boiler from here. Because this one was attached like this. And that doesn't help maintaining the vacuum well or being a bit efficient and stuff. But now it's working. Only thing is the burner is not strong enough to sustain this. Oh, look at this tiny little flame. Oh, it's not even burning hole, the whole thing. Half of the holes are not burning. That's bad. Yeah, it's about 61 degrees now, so it should run now again. Yeah, there you go. So, it runs until, yeah, under 50, 55 maybe, then it stops for now. Yeah, look at it, 50, yeah, 58. But hey, if I close it, I don't know if you can hear it. But I hear still that this pipe is sucking in some of this, yeah, air, this steam, whatever there's left. And it's probably due to that this line is not big enough. Because actually you want this vessel to be directly connected to this vessel. Or something like extracting the heat right away here and looping the output through it or something that will be another design but hey for now thank you for watching